Hello everyone, Oli Techboy is here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an official Minecraft Bedrock server on Oracle Cloud Free MPL server with FEX EMU AX8664 emulator for ARM server. Please note, this is experimental, so you might run into issues such as stuck at locating server. For the first step, you will need to sign up for an Oracle Cloud account which requires a credit or debit card. I already done the sign up process and logged in as you can see. Once logged in, go to three bars, go to compute, go to instances. Then click on create instance. Name your instance. I name it Minecraft Bedrock Official Tutorial. Then after that, for image and shape, click on edit. Click on change image for the image. Select Canonical Ubuntu, select the OS version as 20.04 has due to the open SSL library needed for the Minecraft official payroll server. Click select image. Then change shape for AMD. Select Ampere. Select VM standard A1 Flex. Then after that, the number of OCPU select 4. Click select shape. Keep the memory as 24 gig. After that, Click on save private key to save the server private key, which is very important for later use. Then click on create to create a server. This will take some time, so be very patient. Once you get the provisioning while waiting, you can move your key to somewhere safe. Click on this arrow button, click on show folder. Cut the key. Then put the key in somewhere safe such as your document folder. For me, I'll be using the desktop. I will create a folder called server key. Click that and open the folder, paste my key there. Once you're done with putting your key in somewhere safe, close the folder, go search, go to party gen, click on conversion, import key, navigate to your key location. I already navigated it and click the key. Click on save private key. Click on yes. Name the key. I name it Minecraft tutorial key. And click save. Once done, close party gen. Check whether the server is running. Once you get running, that means you can go for the next step which is to do the port forwarding at the subnet site. Go to subnet. Go to security list. Click on the default security list. Then enter the ingress rules by pressing add ingress rules. The source CDIR is 0.0.0.0/0. IP protocol keep it as TCP. The destination port range is 191.32 for Minecraft server for Bedrock. Then click another ingress rule. CDIR is the same thing is 0.0.0.0/0. IP protocol go to UTP. The destination port range is 19132 and click at ingress rule for both the TCP and UTP ports for Minecraft Bedrock. Once you're done, go back to your instance page. Then after that, go to party for the SSH part of the tutorial. Host name. Copy the public IP address from the instance page. Paste it in the IP address text box. After which for data, auto login username is Ubuntu. SSH, go to off. Private key for authentication. Browse, click on the key you just converted. Click open. Click accept. Let the party do the work for the SSH. Once you're connected via SSH, let's do the port forwarding part for the server itself. sudo IP tables input TCP TCP one nine one three two for the input port for TCP. Then the input port for UDP for the Minecraft Bedrock server port, followed by the output port for the TCP port for one nine one three two, which is the Bedrock. Server port, 
finally the output port for UDP for the Minecraft Bedrock server port which is 19132 after which save the changes on the IP tables reload the IP table we just saved finally flush the IP table to ensure the latest one is available after that update and upgrade your package of the server which is important press Y to continue let the update begins then after that install unzip sudo apt-get install unzip this is the important software later for the unzipping part of the bedrock server installation once done install the fvxmu itself copy curl command which is a very long command make sure you copy this properly copy right click to paste onto the ssh window and let it install and also do answer the prompts later once you get root fs not found press y to create the root fs which is important select 3 for ubuntu 21.04 Press Y to download the image. Let the image download begin. This will take some time. Press run to extract. This will take some time to extract. Please be patient. Press Y to say yes default. And the FPX EMU is done installing. The next step is to create the Minecraft directory. Type mkdir minecraft type cd minecraft to access the folder the next step is to download the actual minecraft big rock server to do this go to minecraft big rock dedicated server search go to big rock server download click i agree right click the download link and copy link address on the terminal window enter wget copy paste the link dash o back rock underscore server dot zip this will download the bedrock server zip after which enter unzip back rock underscore server dot zip let the bedrock server unzip after which rm back rock server dot zip to delete the zip files as we don't need it anymore after which enter screen to create a new screen which is important as once the ssh window is closed you'll keep the server running click i mean tap enter then after that enter ld library path equal dot space dot slash bedrock server let the server run this will take some time for it to load once it's loaded as you can see the ipv6 supported and ipv4 supported thingy open your minecraft client please note that you'll get the locating server issue so please keep rejoining until you get access to the server while waiting you can copy the minecraft server ip address from the public ip server address click play click server click at server i name it minecraft test paste the server address and click play let it connect to the server this will be the known issue which is the stuck at locating server if this happens to you click cancel go back to the server and click join server repeat till you manage to get access to the server 
and the world loaded. If you take a long time, you just cancel and retry until you get it. And I am in the server. Let me test the performance. Let's break some block. Oh, there's some delays though. Slight delays. So keep in mind when you're running the server. This is experimental, so keep that in mind. I save and quit. I can show you why the screen command is so important. Close the SS window and click OK. Join again. Okay, the server is loaded. Looks like the server stays even with the SSH window closed. This highlights the importance of having the screen command. Let's break the blocks to see the performance. Performance wise is okay. But do expect issues though, such as the locating world issue. Save and quit. Let's say if you want to use the console again, I can show you how to do that. The first thing is to go to search, go to party again, party. You can re-enter your credentials, like the server IP address, data, your username, SSH, go to off, go to browse, select the key again then after that go back to session click on the text box and enter the name of the server you want to save name it minecraft test click save so that in the future you won't have to keep having to enter the credentials then click open and boom you get the access window again to access the minecraft server console enter screen dash ls once you get, there's a screen on the name, blah, blah, blah. Enter screen. Minus X space. Copy the name of the screen. Right click and paste. And you get your server console. But let's say what if you want to access the server files. First thing is to enter stop. To stop the server gracefully. Once it say click correctly, enter exit to kill the screen. After which, go to search, go to Filza, go to file, site manager, click new site. The protocol is SFTP. The host is your server IP address. Copy that. Paste the server IP address. Enter port 22. Logging type is key file, username you ban to key file, click browse and select the key file you just generated. Click on connect. And boom, you can now access your files and even upload your files. You can upload by dragging and dropping. I can demonstrate by uploading some random files. Download, I just randomly upload this file. Drag and drop, just to demonstrate how you can upload your files. To download your file is, I can have an example, go to Minecraft, drag and drop the world to the home folder of Windows. I can demonstrate to you, I download my world. After which, you can close your filezilla once you're done. To start the server again, simply enter cd minecraft Then screen again Press enter Finally is LD Library Path Equal dot Space dot Slash Bad Bedrock server no caps. Enter. Let the server load. This will take a while.
once the server is loaded again, you can reconnect to the server. I can show you. If it's taking a long time, you can just cancel and try again. This is a known issue as I repeat. Once you manage to load the server again, I mean connect to the server again, you can play Minecraft Bedrock. And congratulations, you just built an official Bedrock server on Oracle's Cloud Ambient server. I bet with all the known issues such as lags and struggle to locate world, I mean locate server. That concludes the tutorial. You can now close the SSH window. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial video. Please like, share, and comment on my video. Subscribe to my channel.